we have learned how to prove Pythagoras theorem to origami. Origami is an art of paper folding. There are many Pythagorean triplets. Using a 256 unit square grid, let's prove the Pythagorean triplet 5, 12 and 30. Try to prove another triplet 8, 15, 17 using the same square grid. Let's take a square piece of paper and make it into half to get two equal rectangles. Now further having them on both sides we will be able to make a grid of 16 squares on the original square paper. And this is it. Now each part be bisected again to get eight equal parts on each side. Let's continue on the other side and make on this side also eight equal parts and this is a 64 square grid. Now further bisecting these, each of these eight units we get a 16 equal parts on one side. Let's do the same thing on the other side also. Make into 16 equal parts and we shall be arriving at a 256 square grid. Now let's count 12 on this side and mark it. This is 12 units and 5 on the other. We are trying to prove the 5, 12 and 13 Pythagorean triplet. 5 units, let's mark it as 5 units. And this as 12 units. We are now going to form a right angle triangle with these two sides. We are now folding the hypotenuse of the right angle. By joining the end points of 5 units and 12 units lines. So this is the right angle triangle. This is the hypotenuse. Let's highlight so that it is visible. Now we have to measure this. Let's overlap the base of 12 units onto the hypotenuse and mark it and there is one more part left over we have to measure that part also by overlapping the second side of the square let's mark this as 12 units The second side is overlapped onto this small leftover part and it is exactly matching with one unit.
so as that is one unit this part is it is overlapping it is also one unit one unit plus 12 units totally the hypotenuse becomes as 13 units so with this simple 256 square grid we were able to prove the 5 12 and 13 triplet happy folding viewers